All right, for those of you joining us on YouTube in the future, joining us just now, welcome to Memer Wheel, where we use the Tarka's command to ramp into Blood Braid Elves, and we use As Foretolds to cast Fields of Fate. So let's let's do it. Let's dive into the queue, shall we? Um, I concede in the leagues that I pay for myself too, Bob. Started doing that there as well. Let's let's be honest. If if cashing, if not cashing your Magic Online league is going to put you into financial distress, you probably can't afford to be playing Magic Online and should find a different hobby. Let's let's just be cold and blunt about it. If if not cashing your magic league is gonna cause you financial distress, you should do something else. <laughs> magic is fun. I enjoy magic a lot, but it is an expensive luxury hobby. That's that's just the God's honest truth. Because it's meme teamer, Jet. It's meme teamer. It's a teamer meme. Memer. Oh baby. Oh baby. Wheel the Tron player. That that sounds like a great plan. What? <laughs> Getting chalice of the voided. Yep. All right. They're playing bad Tron. Maybe we have a chance. Maybe we have a chance. I mean, to be fair, if Penny Dreadful had leagues, they'd still be expensive. Everything I love dies to Tron. I should write a musical about that. Just the everything I love dies to Tron, the musical. How will I pay rent if I don't get those play points back? Correct. Yeah, we can. We can, in fact, still. We can, in fact, get no. one ones by casting no. lightning bolts. It's gonna be. It's gonna be two one ones, right? So we're gonna get a second. No. Second Doctor Peasing to play. Hello, oldest son. I love you, even if you're loud. I bought a legacy deck instead of paying my mortgage for the month. I better not lose. I live in the middle of a bunch of cornfields. Legacy decks are actually more expensive than my mortgage for the month. If we're, if we're being honest here. All right, so I think I just want to cast this and then cast this bolt this turn. Hopefully they just have like a bunch of stinkers left. We'll get to get them. Hold myself to send a message, right? Do I double block this? Probably not, right? I'm probably on the aggressive plane here. Thought not. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this happen. Just gonna let this happen. I wanna take my bolt, I can take my bolt. D -d 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 gonna lose my ass foretold. Oh, bolt in response, or he'll take. If they take the bolt, I can't cast. I am super excited about that. Bolt myself to send the message. The message is fuck your chalice of the void. <laughs> no! It was going to be so excellent, chat. It was going to be so excellent. We we're going to get to visions this turn and do stuff. 
Yeah, the Ice Foretold is very scary for them. Let's just cast all sorts of great spells. I mean, people have pretty much always hated Tron. It's always been a pretty miserable deck to play against. And Tron's been one of the better decks in the format for a very long time. Well, this is... This is pretty easy, right? Just, uh... Oh, God, fuck this card. Um... Deal three damage, opponent... You get one more. All right, do that one. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna like trip stack this Reality Smasher here. It's like trade. My Atarka's command like dealt three and ate a Reality Smasher. They have reach, reach my children, reach for the skies. Hmm. I guess I'm just firing up this Raging Ravine, right? <laughs> Get in there. I miss suspending this, right? I miss suspending this. I don't know why I had it in my head that I could only cast it with the S4 tool. I probably should have suspended this. I don't know. That's close. Like, it'd be on three right now. I don't know if I'm going to live long enough for this being suspended to have been relevant. Nope. Meme teamer. Meme meme teamer. Memer. Make it making words here, chat. Suspend both and draw ten on the same turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree, Burl. I just didn't think about it. I had like in my head that this only this only has one line of text. So like I just like instinctually just like oh I can't play that because I don't have as foretold. They have another reality smash. They're gonna be in a lot of trouble here. Hopefully, this is just another thought knot. Uh, that sucks. What am I doing here? I'm just doubling here. Oh. <sighs> Cards aptly named. <laughs> this would be on two. I'm gonna suspend it now and pass the turn, I guess. It'd be going to one next turn. Okay. Okay. The dismember here. Warping whale. Alright, that makes sense. Am I just dead now? Sure. Um Blood Moon sounds great, right? I'm just gonna board out these lightning bolts. I don't actually really care about Chalice, right? Like if it goes on one, it's whatever. All right, let's do it. <laughs> easy sideboarding, easy life. Is everyone fragging out here today? Welcome, playing some modern here this afternoon. If you're enjoying what you see, please make sure you hit that follow button. It doesn't cost you anything else so that people find my stuff. Could board out a wheel? Why do I want to board out wheel? About chalice on zero, kinda. Kinda matters. Alright, fine. I'll board in two of these. I'll board in two of these. Talk me into it. 
I'm gonna blood braid elf into this ancient grudge while they have no artifacts and just wipe our tears. Do not board out looting. I like I don't I don't I don't know if I like faceless looting or not. I don't know. I don't know, Burgle. It's modern brainstorm. It's like worse than modern brainstorm when you don't have What's the word when you don't have lingering souls in your deck? <laughs> no goblin. That's what we're missing. We needed goblin dark dwellers. You can play Think Twice instead of Lingering Souls. That's so clunky. Think Twice costs more mana when you flash it back. Lingering Souls costs less. Yeah, yeah, they actually fixed that bug, which is great. I mean, sure? Sure, I guess. Uh, keep? Keep? I, I suppose. So Goblin Dark Dwellers can flash back Ancestral Visions and Wheel of, Wheel of Fate. <laughs> Snapcaster can up. Nah, I think it's Chalice for zero. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's a six card hand. I keep this six. Like minus a wheel, this six is fine. Minus a wheel, the six is fine. Like if I'm mulliganing turn one vision, turn two pyromancer, like the deck's unplayable. Look at that, found a faithless looting. Cry less chat, hand's great. Everybody, need everybody to cry slightly, slightly less. I think the hand is fi fine. I don't think it's good, but I think it's definitely above the bar of keepable. Definitely think it's above the bar keepable. Like whenever I look at those hands where you're like, oh, well it has a wheel of fate and it's already a mulligan. Well, no, I keep the six. So I think I'm fine having this mulligan in my hand. Gonna get trunned and be really sad. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, found a piece of candy. This is gonna grab a green source here. Also want it to be red so I could do this into Faithless Looting. Scorch with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much and welcome. I really appreciate that. As always, subscriptions are one of the best ways you can support my content here. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So there's two turns left on it. I think I want to leave the grudge in my hand so I can kill like multiple chalices with it. So they have Tron. Probably means we're dead. We found this deck's version of we found something. I don't know about lingering souls, but please be a chalice, walking ballista. But I like my young pyromancer. Yeah, moon would be a good draw. Unfortunately, we don't get to draw extras until next turn, so we just have just have one draw step here. Yep. Um. Just gonna bend these two. Could go either way. Could see getting rid of the wheel, but like we're gonna draw a bunch of extra cards next turn, so like we might hit Nads foretold off of that. This Goyf's a big boy. He's a he's a five six currently. So until this Karn comes down, we're in an okay spot. It feels like. 
Uh, yes is the answer, yo so silly. There's a deck list on your screen. For those that are new, there's a little stream decker icon. You can click that and the deck list will pop up. If you are at home or on a mobile device, you can type exclamation point deck in chat. It's, uh, all right, I get to shoot that with my ancient grudge in the bin, so that's nice. If that was their best threat in the face of an ancient grudge. We might be okay here. So I get to grudge this. And then I can fetch shock and double goif here. That's probably what I want to do, right? Just like fetch shock, double goif. So I put, put my 10 power into play. It's gonna put us to 10, but I think we need to just end the game, right? And actually, we're getting we're getting pretty close to lethal, right? Like this uh this Atarka's command in our hand is worth five points of damage next turn. So we're gonna put them to four. So like another Atarka's command draw would be lethal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if they if they have Lumog, we'll just right-click concede and like move on with our lives. Yep. All right, now we'll look for Blood Moon, I guess. I am aware that wheeling here isn't a good play, but I would like to do it. I'm aware that we had better lines than wheeling there. I'm just, I just would like to make the chat aware that I know that this is scary, but I'm gonna wheel and pass. These are, these are my cards. Let's hope they have, oh geez, they had all lands left and we wheeled them. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm not playing the deck to not cast Wheel of Fate with As Foretold, okay? I'm not I'm not playing the deck to not cast as Wheel of Fate with As Foretold. Wheel at the beginning of my next turn. Maybe. Maybe. Is wheel ever good? That's that's asking the real questions, asking the the hard hitters. I gotta turn a goofy into play. I don't think that's true, Bob. I think if I'm wheeling them, they would have played a six land last turn, and then they would have had a seventh land on their turn. They could still just all his dust us. Like, I'm not beating in all his dust as whether or not I wait or don't wait. <laughs> I, think, I think the actual answer is that, like, all roads lead to Rome, and Rome is the Eldrazi deck with three lands to tap for seven mana beating our mid-range deck. Like, that's, that's the actual truth. Like, by putting Blood Moon in our deck instead of uh, Molten Rain or Stone Rain, we're much worse in matches like this. <laughs> Am I not dead? Am I not dead? Yeah, kind of. The idea, the idea of Twitch is that, our CIO, that we can play the rest of our cards out faster than them. Is the, the idea behind playing the Wheels of Fate. And like, as foretold, generates you tempo as well, through letting you play more, more lands out faster. Uh, is there another Ancient Grudge in the yard? Uh, there is not. There's not another ancient grudge in the yard. Yeah, what do they have is a good question. Remember that time I wheeled them and then didn't die, Burgle? 
Remember that time I wheeled them and then didn't die? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Just big old guns up here. Put the guns up here. All right, so what am I doing? Am I putting this Pyromancer into play? We're definitely casting the Blood Moon, right? Like, that's not close. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't do both of these. I guess I'm just gonna start with the Blood Braid Elf then, right? I'm just gonna start with this. No, because I have to play the Blood Moon this turn. I don't have enough mana to Pyro, Blood Moon, and do other stuff. Deal. What do they get here? Do they get... Oh, I guess they can get Sanctum with this map, right? Am I just going to attack here? I think so. I guess we're pretty close to dead. Maybe this attack was a little aggressive. Because we're at seven. And they can go quarter themselves here to get a basic waste. They can also just expedition map for a basic waste. They could just kill us next turn. Yeah, maybe I should have left one of these back. I think I should have left one of these back. Well, casting off the cascade is optional and they have a chalice on zero, so we weren't wheeling there. Even if we hit wheel, we probably wouldn't have gone and gotten it. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead to a smasher. I shouldn't have attacked with this. This was this was a bad attack. This is why we didn't cast the ancestral vision for those that keep asking. My favorite are the players that like tank to the obvious like dead on board play. I I guess we technically have these to cast spells with, but all right, let's fire up the next one here. Let's fire up the next one. Not cast wheel, that's enough. I mean, that's true. We're not playing this deck to not cast wheel. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone that's out today. My name is Jeff Hoagland. If you're enjoying what you see, uh, please consider subscribing on Twitch. I stream full time here every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday afternoons, as well as some mornings and weekends. If you want to support my content past that, you can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. Cool stuff, Inc.com buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code Jeff5, you can save 5 percent of magic pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them inkedgaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code jeff12 you get 12 percent of custom play mats mouse pads binders bags all sorts of sweet stuff there and finally this stream is made possible by viewers like anironix and you anironix likes to remind you to hit that follow button if you're enjoying what's going on it gives you notifications on uh when i go live with off schedule streams at any rate our second match in this league has popped here maybe maybe hopefully we find some non-tron lands to play against here even if you left back BBE, you still die there. That's not true. We were at seven, right? I trade BBE with the three two and then take six. I trade trade BBE with the three two and take six. Go to one. So I wouldn't wouldn't have died to what they had in play with the. <laughs> oh, magic! There's a deck list on your screen. There's a button that says deck list. If you're on mobile, type exclamation point deck in chat, and you'll get a deck list pop up. Yeah, I was at I was at seven. So the one one plus plus the five five is six, right? Was I at six? I'm pretty sure I was at seven. <laughs> no, you don't block the smasher. You you block the three power three two and then take six. Uh, that's yeah, probably fine. It kind of sucks. Like I don't have a second red source. Yeah, I was at seven, right? So switch chat is stupid. Yep. Yeah, God bless. Pretty, they, they made me doubt myself. There were so many people that were like, no, you were dead if you left the blood braid elf back. I was like, I don't think, I don't think so, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I just, oh, fuck me. Oh, I was talking about Twitch chat and I hit my auto pass button. That's why I didn't bolt. So why didn't why didn't I bolt? Because I pressed my auto cast but auto pass button. So I should have a token and a two one in play right now, but I don't. So I auto passed. Stakes on me. 
Don't have a third one. It's a walking ballista. That's gross. That's gross. Yeah, I think I'm willing to just trade this for this at this point. I I almost shoved Ocean Thieves in here for being if we're being honest. I was really I was really close to shoving Ocean Thieves in here. Fortunately our basics are a little awkward here. A put it would be actually pretty close to ten here if I uh if I would have sequenced my spells correctly. Bringing back a land that's smart, it's probably the collecting company. I guess I'll just play this. I don't think I want to bolt the bird here. I think I want to just start getting counters on this. We have Ancestral Vision coming off next turn, so we could have another vision to cast with this. Jacob, inside voice, buddy. Jacob, inside voice. Not attacking here. The three two doesn't have trample, doof monster. Yeah, it's, it's one plus five is six. Chad's still not counting just exactly right. I don't they have a pontiff or something they're trying. Maybe they have a pride mage to kill this. All right, so probably need to bolt that one. All right, we're gonna need a token from this, so that's nice. Hopefully hit some lands here. Need to auto yield that one next time it comes up. More as foretold. All right, so... I'm gonna start by casting this with as foretold, right? I think so. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, then these two. Do I want to get another as foretold going? I think I want to get another as foretold going. Do I want to get another as foretold going? Probably fine. I think I want to just bolt this, right? So they can't activate it. Pass the turn here. Is Carnage Tyrant Modern playable? No, probably not. It's really expensive. There aren't enough control decks in Modern. And a big problem with Carnage Tyrant in Modern is that it's just going to be smaller than a lot of like Tarmogoyce and Death Shadows and stuff which are significantly cheaper creatures in terms of mana. That's a Devoted Druid. That's unfortunate. Um, we get to flashback Faithless Looting next turn, though, and we don't. That's pretty good as getting Collected Company. I used the As Foretold to cast the Faithless Looting earlier, so casting the Bolt with the As Foretold wasn't an option. I should auto-yield to these... That's a bolt. Okay. Um, I'm going to start by flashing back this Faithless Looting. <laughs> Vapor Snag. That's not terrible. I think I just don't want these lands, right? God, I can't cast all... Well, I can kind of cast all these spells, right? Yeah, that's true. All right, so I do the... Bin these two. I'm going to cast this using As Foretold on this. And then I'm gonna start attacking with these elementals to start pressuring them. Yeah, if I would have, uh, if I would have not auto passed my first turn and like had a pyromancer into play and like gotten a couple of tokens off of that, we'd be pretty far ahead yeah. here. That being said, I th I think we're still a little bit ahead, but it's definitely closer than it otherwise could be. Are we cord for one? They have like a forge tender in their main deck. Viscerous here. Okay, cute. They have a collected company in their hand here, too, still. I 
Yeah, we don't. We don't really play standard on this channel. Pretty much just the non-rotating format. Oh, you know what? I should have attacked with this two here. This was a mistake. I should have attacked with this two because I could have Atarkus commanded if they blocked. Would that have been lethal? It would have been a seven damage Atarkus command. Plus, no, it wouldn't quite been lethal. Yeah, I should have. I should have attacked with this too. So I, I did the thing that I always do is where like I autopilot it into I'm not attacking this into Eternal Witnesses, but then they tapped Eternal Witnesses to Court of Calling there, and I didn't reassess my assessment. It was the last vintage deck. It was a while ago. You can check YouTube. It was lethal if they didn't block. No, it wasn't right because like they were at 15, and it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, it would have been 12 and they'd have gone to three. So not lethal. Work on your math chat, work on your mat. I think I'm just gonna vapor snag this scavenging use here. It's like pick this up. And then like get to attack with my tokens next turn. Yeah, but it would have been chat lethal, right? Here's hoping we draw a wheel, or a faithless looting, or a visions next turn. Math is for blockers, right? Ooh, ooh, blood braid elf. Blood braid elf, you say? Cascade trigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, just rub it all over my body, chat. Rub it, rub it all over my body. Mmm, mmm, just mmm, mm, ooh, mmm, into a wheel of fate, chat. Oh, oh, it's tasty. Mmm, it's tasty. Mmm, yum, delicious. Mmm, mmm. Um. So, what am I doing here? What am I, what am I doing? Don't give them the cord with wheel. Oh, I don't even know what we're doing. I have so many choices. I think I'm just supposed to attack. I think I'm just supposed to attack and see if they let the Atarkus command be lethal. I think there's a non-zero chance that we attack here and this Atarkus command is just lethal. Yeah, I think I just start by attacking with everything. I think there's a good chance they don't play around a Torcus command. Yeah, so... Oh God! Can someone screenshot this, please? Why? Why is this a thing? Why? Can I, can the snipping tool let me take a delayed screenshot? Delay, yes. Five seconds, all right, new. Why, why is this a thing? Let's, let's take a screenshot. Why, dear Magic Online, why is this a thing? All right, it sounds like Declan's awake from his nap. I'll be right back. All right, sorry, two, deal three, creature you Sorry for slow rolling it, but I had to do stuff. Children's toys. Did I break it? Oh, jeez, chat. Chat, there's so many. Oh. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I just, I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Here, hopefully that isn't my sideboarding. The goat takes goat And the goat the goat Sorry. Sorry. Alright, they're dead. Sweet. Go uh Do I want sideboard cards? Go go Does anyone think I want sideboard cards? Do I want do I want sideboard cards? That sideboard knows what it wants. Or like I could maybe see Leyline of the Void. It might be okay with Leyline of the Void. No, I don't think I want. Okay, okay. I kinda just wanna click submit. <laughs> They just like, well, you gotta remember, chat, when they go off, they draw their entire deck and all their creatures, which includes a reclamation stage. I think I'm just gonna click submit. I could see bringing in. I could see bringing in the ley line of the voids. Go take, go take, go take. Yeah, and they can just again they like when they generate infinite mana, they can get every creature potentially out of their deck, which includes a reclamation stage if they have any brain in their hand. Yeah, I'm kind of comfortable boarding out wheels. Yeah, I, I kinda of like that Virgil. I think wheels kinda of mediocre and Leyline of the Void is probably fine. I think Leyline of the Void is gonna allow- Dude, dude, it's coming. It's an advertisement. You know how this works. We're gonna buy YouTube Red tonight, I promise. Easy, easy mulligan here. It's a pretty good keep, right? I'm gonna bottom a non-land here. Okay, so this is an interesting question. Is this a bolt the bird matchup? Or am I supposed to save this for the devoted druid, right? Is this is this a bolt the bird or am I supposed to save it for the devoted druid? <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I think I think we're supposed to save the bolt even with the second. I think even even with the second bolt, we're supposed to save it. Like these kill combo pieces. I think that one's worth killing. That's technically a combo piece. Steam vents here. Oh, I should have done this at their end of turn, right? Yeah, just like rewarded for not killing their stupid bird. Fetch a basic forest here and throw this Tarmogoofy into play. Hey, the gang's all here. Just a, just a two one. What a powerful Magic the Gathering card you have cast, opponent. What a powerful Magic the Gathering card. I just wanna smash for three, get my clock on here. It's annoying, but not the end of the world. No, Ashford will let you cast cards from your hand. Once per turn, you may pay zero. Oh wait, maybe? Maybe? I mean, that's that's pretty good. Let's start. Let's start there. 
and see what happens from there. All right, and cast this Pyromancer. And I think I'm just passing the turn just in case they set up a combo. You want something else, Declan? You cannot flashback as for this looting without That's what I thought, this but. One, this one, this one. Asphaltol's been really sweet so far. Uh, Herd's been kind of great. No, good yep, so I'm glad I'm glad we just held the bolts here because this one this, this is gonna get a devoted druid, so we'll get to bolt it here. Okay. I think this one. You got it, kiddo. Go. Yeah, we're bolting on my end of turn. We also just don't want them to untap and have infinite mana. Well, I'm working this is like annoying, but not the end of the world. So do I just cast this using this? That way I can Bloodbraid off this turn? I think so. If we get a land, we can cast Bloodbraid. It's kind of unfortunate. I guess not really, right? Am I just gonna go bin this, bin this, cast this other as foretold? Yeah, that seems fine. And then cast Ancestral Vision. The real question is, how am I going to kill my opponent? That's the real question I'm working on. Once per turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you had cast where X is X less where X is a number. I think that works with flashy back. We'll check, we'll check the faceless looting in my bin here in a second. We'll check the faceless looting in my bin here in a second. No, yep, can't do it. Ooh, ooh, we're only one away from doing this, huh? We're only one away from doing this, huh? That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> the old as foretold. My Layla had avoid into play. But we're definitely supposed to cast Faithless Looting here, right? Because I need to kill this Devoted Druid. All right, that's a bolt. I probably don't even want the Leyline of the Void here, right? Do I want this Leyline of the Void? Now there's more in my deck. There's more of them in my deck. I'm gonna crack this fetch. I'm gonna cast this Blood Braid before I do anything else. Let's see what we hit. Well now, do I want to kill this walking ballista too? I kind of do, right? Although I could bolt it next turn. Like next turn I could like put Pyromancer into play plus bolt it. Nah, that's loose. Let's just, let's just bolt this now. Well, I guess this lets them kill this, but like that was happening either way, right? Do I want to smash with this? I kind of do. Although this makes a pretty big token. So I think I'm waiting one turn. I think I'm waiting one turn. One of the things to remember. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, geez, are they courting for something here? They have a spell skite? That would be really bad for us. I get to smash here now though, which is nice. Oh geez, scavenging is really good. 
Um, so they can make this a one, two, three, four, five. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So if I smash with both of these here, they are. I'm not done on the backswing. Because they don't have any cards left in hand, Burgle. It was their last card. I'm just gonna attack with both of these. This is fine. Oh, they're gonna get to eat the ballista to take one less here. That's still okay with us. Yep, so they're gonna take eight here and gain one. I guess I didn't account for the scavenging who's gaining them health on my racing. We get to Pyromancer next turn though, which is nice. They drew a land. Did I account for that land being drawn? That lets them gain five, so that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is BB in my graveyard matter? Oh, I guess they have enough creatures to eat, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yay. This is a good conservative attack from the opponent. No, no, as we're told, obeys timing restrictions. So I can't, and even if I could, I really don't want to put anything into play with this Voice of Resurgence here, right? Why didn't they eat things with their scavenging goose? It seems like a punt. So my as foretold slide up here, we draw a card. I'm probably going to cast Young Pyromancer and then flashback Faithless Looting to start my turn, depending on what happens. You have a few Faithless Lootings. I guess they might eat some Faithless Lootings, right? We have four or five. That's a little light of the void, so that's a bad one. So I'm gonna start by casting this with the two counters as foretold here. I'll flash this back. We're kind of looking for a vapor snag, right? That would be pretty good here. Major Ravine is okay. Hey, Apprentice of Bolas. Sapphire Sub Club, it's been a year. Thanks a lot and welcome back, I appreciate. The continued support. It's a long time. Thank you for all the bits over the last year, too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so... Am I... Am I supposed to just smash with these? I think I am. I think I'm just supposed to smash with these. Like, depending on their blocks here. The Atarkus command. I feel like they're going to block both here, right? Leyline doesn't do anything, because remember, Leyline is not rest in peace. It doesn't exile cards already in graveyards. Or, I mean... Right, do this. Make this big enough to live. Crack them. Make this slightly bigger. Yeah, but like, I'm making a Pyromancer token, so I'm going to have two tokens here. So I think, I think this is fine for me. Like, my Bloodbraid Elf is going to survive because of the Atarkus command. So I think I think this attack is fine. They're gonna eat some things with scavenging use here in response, but they're gonna run out of creatures. Kinda, I guess this is getting added to the bin. There's one, two, three more creatures up here. This will be a fourth creature. I like kind of wish I had wheels in my deck, but at the same time, wheeling them is probably really bad for us. Of course you get a sword. Enjoy. Enjoy. 
So they're down to three. I got this one. I got this one. They have two. They have two large threats though now, which is kind of scary, and they have jump blockers. So we're gonna need some action here. We're gonna need some action here. We have three faithless lootings left in our bin, so we get some redraws at action potentially too, which is nice. Oh, do they pick? Are they picking at my faithless lootings? That's smart. I like taking the faithless lootings out of my discard pile here. I like them taking the faithless lootings out of my discard pile here. Yeah, yeah, they're eating my looting, so that's this is a good line in their part. There's four creatures in their discard pile. No attacks is good and conservative from them. I like that. I think I definitely think they should just turtle up here. Um I don't have any faithless lootings left, right? I don't have any any way to draw a discard left, so I should just play this land tapped. Yeah, no reason, no reason not to. I could like hold it to bluff, but like I might need the mana at some point, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it into play here. You wanna watch Bot Toys? Uh, <laughs> Which one, Declan? I'll take this one. I'll okay. This one. Okay, it's going. Uh, we do still have a vapor snag. That's true. We do. We do still have a vapor snag in our deck. So looking for blood braids, AVs, vapor snags. Kitchen Finks is a really good pickup for them. It's tough to grind through that one. Other land is not going to do it. I mean, Atarka's command isn't a very good hit right now, right? Doesn't do a whole lot. I think if they smash with ooze and elemental this turn, I'm going to be I'm going to be blocking with my raging ravine. I wish we had something bigger for some type of closing power. Definitely feels like we're not going to be able to win this board stall. Holding the lands doesn't do anything. It like gives us some bluff value, but it doesn't really do anything past that. And this is a fetch land, so I'm going to thin my deck here. Isn't Ravine strictly better than Blood Braid? Not if I draw another Ravine. If I draw a second Ravine, the Ravine, the Blood Braid's better. Yeah, like a dragon or just something to literally go over the top would be nice. All right, let's start of something nice. Let's start of something nice. They, they drew a Kitchen Finks, we drew a draw three. Survey says. God, that was bad. Yeah, it was real bad. Yes, we are out of lootings. All four lootings have been played and exiled. If I had lootings, I'd be holding lands. Yes, one, two, three, four lootings all gone. Uh, uh, uh. Top deck to go if yep. Alright, we're we're pretty good here. Let's uh let's try and start this on the uh try this on the play here. How would take away from the meme tastic sideboard? If only we had a Jace. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Jace would really accomplish much. Can I keep this? This has to be like the low end of keepable. 
The babysitter is going to be starting next week, ideally. That's I think we found one. You would keep this? I think this is fine on the play. I don't know. No turn one play. That's good. For Ooh. Whew. Whew. The top of the deck is hot, Chet. The top of the deck is hot. Uh, Ley lines turn off their blood braid elves and their eternal witnesses. Or sorry, their kitchen fixes and their eternal witnesses is what I meant to say. They also uh, look quite tasty in our hand. She's gonna kill this now. I'm casting the blood braid elf next turn, so I want to choose my mana this turn. Yeah, it does turn off voice as well. Turns off voice die trigger. It doesn't completely kill Scooze. No, I think this keep was fine. I think it has a lot of cards that we're looking for, and like we have Faithless Looting in our deck, so. What a beating. Just, can, I actually, can I beat this card? I just actually can't, right? I just have no ways in my deck to take this card off the table because we don't have any roasts. Is this, is this the zero outer? Are we on, are we on the zero order to interact with this? Like turns my blood brain elves off? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not gonna, can't, can't, can never attack into a 1-4. <laughs> oh, All right, it's fine. It's fine. We're moving on. We're, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like the third one. This is. This is our time, Chip. And you know what? I don't care what the matchup is. We're not boarding out wheels of wheels of fate in this third matchup, because I really just want to wheel people. It's all I want to do is cast wheel. So I draw seven cards, Chip. I just just want to feel something. I want to feel it. Feel it in my veins. Just double bolt it, right? Won the, won the coin flip. All right, into the match. Bolt, Pyromancer, as foretold. This is just like we drew it up, chat. We're doing doing actual everything here, right? Just can't lose. We're gonna cash, we gotta cash. When are we doing Legacy? I think Thursday and Friday are gonna be Legacy days. At least part of Friday. I got two Grixis Delver lists that are high up there and I wanna play more with the blue, red, the blue, red Bedlam deck. They think I'm playing that in Cincinnati. I don't know. Need to figure out it's like that or Delver. Maybe Juns. I don't know. The Jun deck was fun. Have we won a match? Why do you have to ask offensive questions like that, QAA? Have we won a match? Way to crush my self-esteem. Way, way to crush my self-esteem. Have we won a match? <laughs> uh, goif Pyro, Goif Pyro. <laughs> I'm gonna lead on the Tarma Goofy because I'm probably casting as foretold next turn anyways. They could be Jund, like Bloodstained Mire indicates they're likely Jund, so like Tarma Goofy doesn't die to Lightning Bolt. Was rude opponent. Can I get the Ancestral Vision? So unlucky. I think I'd like to do this. Hopefully we don't get a Brepticade. Hey, we've won a game, chat. 
We've won a game. Thank you very much. I am using a standing desk. I am old and overweight and doing my best to be mildly healthier. I don't know. If I was actually trying to be healthier, I'd probably eat healthier. I don't, I don't really eat that healthy. Ooh, ooh, we found a piece of candy, chat. I found a piece of candy. I found a piece of candy. <laughs> Get to faithless looting here. Hopefully find a bolt. Ooh, ooh. I probably just don't want these other ass foretolds. I think I'm binning those. What if we change the wheels to bedlam? That doesn't sound anywhere near as meme-tastic. How does a vegetarian eat unhealthy? Did you know that you can deep fry lots of different things? The list of things that is deep fryable is vast. For the, for the uninformed out there. Pota yep, potato chips, french fries, pickles. There's lots of carbs that contain no meat. In fact, meat is low in carbs. In fact, if you're thinking of something and you're thinking, Jeff's wrong, you can't deep fry that, you're not creative enough, chat. That's, that's what I have to say to you. If you're thinking of something to eat and you're like, nah, that's not deep fryable, think harder, expand your boundaries. Woo! We found a piece of candy, chat! I love candy! Hmm. Oh. Oh, oh, more candy for next turn? Declan, Declan, I need you to calm down, dude. Have I mentioned that I'm I should have a babysitter starting next week for the afternoons? I'm looking forward to that. Thank you everyone in Twitch that's uh, subscribed to make that possible. I have new quieter afternoon streams. Which one do you want, Declan? Which one? Go point. This one. This one. Yep. You hate it. You really did, chat. You really did. I feel like it's only fair to take the money I've made while streaming and reinvest that back into the stream. And having the stream be quieter in the afternoons when both the kids are here seems like seems like a worthwhile investment. Okay, so what's our turn next turn to be? It's going to be like land drop, cast this off of this, cast as foretold, cast wheel of fate off as foretold. Oh no! Oh no! Don't take my stuff, opponent. I was making a plan. I was, oh, you left you left me with my wheel of fate. Ha ha! Joke's on you, opponent. Ha ha! No, don't, don't take my card away. Cast your Tarmogoyf. Cast, cast your Tamagoyf opponent. Excellent. Scavenging Ooze will do too. Block. I'd like to block your five power guy. Nope. All right. Deal. Bolt's pretty good. Bolt's well, pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna cast this using this, and then I'm gonna bolt this, this one, scavenging ooze. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Declan, it's going, dude. Go <laughs> Which one you want? I 
Do I just flash back Bates is looting here? I definitely do, right? Probably should have done that before I cast the Goyf. Ooh. Ooh. Ditch these tapped lands. Uh, uh, take, go, go take. I'm gonna go take. I'm gonna go take. I'm gonna go take, Dad. I'm gonna go take. I'm gonna go take. I'm gonna go take. I'm gonna go taste. I'm gonna go taste. Uh, yeah, Bob flipped the blood brain. That's what I'm talking go about. Taste. Good, Bobby. Good I'm boy, go Bobby. Taste. Bobby! I'm gonna go taste. I'm gonna go taste. That's. I'm gonna go taste. I'm gonna go taste. This one. Trigger says bolt, sure. This way, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, vapor, vapor stag, my blood braid elf. Dude, that's the one you just watched. I watched. I Now I want the attacker's command for the bonus damages, Burgo. Come on now. Well, that's a wheel. That's a wheel. Did you know, chat, that this card lets you put lands into play? Did you know that this card, what do I want to do? I want to deal three and put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. I want to deal three and put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. This is, this is sweet. And now we get to wheel while they have seven cards in their hand. And now we get to wheel while they have seven Are we having fun yet, chat? I'm so glad we found a Jun. Look, I don't care if we have lethal, chat. Let me cast my spells. Let me cast my spells, chat. All right, uh, faithless looting. Hmm, excellent. Look at, look at, I, I found another Atarka's command in drawing 12 cards, okay? I figured it out. Are we, are we content? Are we happy? The opponent has died. I get it. I got to draw more cards, though, so I'm pretty sure that makes my line strictly better. I'm pretty sure deal three damage, give him one one. Let the man get. Look, after all the not fun we had in those other games, I just want to cast my spells, okay? I just want to cast my spells. All right, I am so pleased we got to do this at least once, right? That. Th so for those that are wondering what the goal was when we set up to build the deck, when Burgle put this together, that that was the goal. We got to do it once. We got to go off. I am. I am pleased and at peace with myself. This isn't a Blood Moon matchup, right? Is this just a click submit matchup? Hey, N Giles 88 with that brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Subscriptions, as always, are the best way you can support my content here. <laughs> um, I think it's a click submit matchup. Having only seen this game, I should totally build this deck in every other game. Yes, yes, definitely. Do I want Leyland of Sanctity? I guess this card's pretty good. It makes a lot of those, makes a lot of their cards bad. All our cards are just so good here though. All our cards are just so good. I don't actually know. I don't actually know what I want to cut. I like every card in our main deck, chat. Trigger. 
64 card deck. <laughs> How mad would Burgle be if I submitted with a 64 card deck? All right, Chad, who wants to submit 64? You got to vote quickly. I only have a minute. Type 64 in chat if you want me to submit 64. <laughs> 60, done. Run it. Run it. Ship it. Ship it in there. Look at all the 64s. I like, I like the cut of your jib, Twitch chat. Just the old, what do we sideboard out? Nothing! They're all fantastic! We've built a Woo! Look at this! Look at this! This is what I'm talking about! This is what I'm- Look at just- How- How could anyone not want to put 64 cards in our deck? How- How could we not want to put 64 cards in our deck? This is so perfect! Did it! We did it, chat! Yay! Clearly it's working out, so it was the correct play. You want me to sit down? You want me to sit down? Do you want to sit behind me? Do you want to sit on my lap? No, we have to play down here, buddy. Mom will be home in a little bit, and then, we'll, and then you can play upstairs. How do we lose? Asking the important questions. Jacob, we need to use our inside voice, buddy. Sort of a blue source next turn, ideally. Hey. I love you. Do you know what the best answer to Tarmogoyf is? Yeah, you guessed it, Chet. It's another Tarmogoyf. Uh, Jacob is four. What if I pick you up? What's going on? Can you say hi to the internet? Mom's not home yet. She's at work. She'll be home in a little bit. This could be a K Commander a Bolt, but I think that's fine for us. I think I just need to call there. Feels like K Oh, Liliana, that's worse for us. Hey. You want this? Oh, you want a different show on the TV? Oh, what a beating. What a beating. Who built this mana base? Who built this mana base? You want to watch Super Y? No, this is no.
think we're pretty good here. I think we need to hit that blue source return sooner. Or have it not come into play tap. Like, you get to fire this up and kill us here, so. They're not firing up three enemies. That means they have another threat. No more leagues I'm gonna play today. It depends on how long they take. At least one more, probably two more. Their nation queue's kind of backed up, so I might do I might do two more after this. Hey, what's going on in her? Is that another K command? Like kill my blood break, get your dark confidant back? Yep. Right, maybe our blood breaking it go if well, we're still just gonna die die to that right yeah all right I'm gonna run back the 64. Praise be. Look, a 64 card standard deck won a Grand Prix. Our 64 card modern deck can win this match, okay? I believe. I believe, chat. Never, never not the perfects, chat. Never, never not the perfects. It is not. I don't have Smurf accounts. All the magic online I play is done on my Jeff Oakland account. I don't think I want a looting on one here. Do I? No, not really. I kind of want all these cards in my hand, I think. 64 cards helps with the memory leak. doing this i think i'm wheeling on three i don't actually know if i'm wheeling on three or not can go either way we'll see what we draw here uh we're playing faithless looting to turn our lands into cards that do things in the mid game So 85 with that nine month resubscription. Thanks a lot and welcome back. I appreciate the continued support. That's a long time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So do I want to wheel here? What's our motto? We're not playing this deck to not wheel. I kind of want to cast the Bloodbraid Elf next turn, but at the same time drawing seven. All right, I'm gonna let chat decide. Type wheel in chat if you want to wheel. Type wheel in chat if you want to wheel. You want to wait? That's pretty split on wait. Man, if <laughs> democracy <laughs> is the <laughs> shittiest. <laughs> All right, we'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll wait one turn. We'll wait a turn. What if they Liliana and plus though? See, Liliana and the Veil plus is the worry here. Twitch plays MTG, right? Hopefully they miss a land drop. That would be the dream, right? Wow, they missed a land drop. That's so good for us. Survey says... Oh. Oh, God. oh you didn't need that Dark Confidant, did you? They'll have 
Lance next turn. <sighs> Am I supposed to wait again? God, we're not supposed to wheel. Yeah, you're right, Chant. They didn't have a removal spell either. Fine. I'll wait to wheel. See, they drew a land. This is all your fault, Chant. They hit the land anyways. Jeez. Why you gotta steer me wrong like this, Chant? Why you gotta, gotta do me dirty? Was this just a K command? K command is so good for us here. Just like shock this, get your bot back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You generate that card advantage. All right, sweet. Land, 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 land. Another as foretold. Yes, that is fine. So I cast this, and then I cast this using as foretold, and then I cast this. Look at that. We turned their seven cards into seven new cards, and we got a new hand, chat. Are you going to win a match? Are you going to win a match? Who's excited to win a match? I think I'm feeling it, chat. I think I'm feeling it. Yeah, move, Yugi boy. Your move. Tread lightly. Danger is everywhere. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, no, this is the last hope, isn't it? Oh, just pulmonary mage deal. Art thou feeling it, Mr. Krabs? Should stream in a Pegasus costume. I'm not sure I understand the reference, but no, probably not. Cast using as foretold with one counter. I support this democracy, Jay. Sizzle with the bits. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. We've got so many choices. I guess I'm just supposed to AV here, right? Opponent said GG. No, come back, opponent. I wasn't done drawing cards. I wasn't. <laughs> oh, Jundek. Oh, Jundek. There we go. Faithless looting. We we're going to faithless looting. Best wheel ever. <laughs> Uh, excellent. 64 cards and unbeatable in the John to match up. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Hooray! <laughs> I hope everyone out there is having at least half as much fun as I am. Spinning some wheels and drawing some magic the gathering cards. Yeah, we would have given them new cards. I was gonna give them new cards. I don't know why they conceded I'm, I'm a giver This deck's like the Oprah of modern decks. Oh, no. Oh, no Grishel brand It's fine. We've got four ley line of the voids in the board We got four ley line of the voids in the board. It's fine There's nothing wrong here <laughs> All right, uh, steam vents smells like steam vents lead on this faithless looting I'm pretty sure I don't want to wheel their deck Not a hundred percent, but pretty sure I don't want to be able to vapor stack's actually pretty good in this matchup Actually pretty good actually Need all eight ley lines. Despite this is a wheel out matchup, we're gonna board out the four wheels and board in four ley lines the void. 
I'm gonna submit. I know it's disappointing, Chad, but I'm gonna submit 60 this game. I'm gonna submit 60 this match. Just, just to set the expectations. So no one's disappointed. We will be submitting 60 cards. Try hard. <laughs> He's just so competitive. He's a spike. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Pyromancer. Just leave Snag up here. I think. All eight ley lines. I don't think Sanctity is very good in this matchup. We can't let Birdo in. To, to be fair. The only match we have won in this league, we boarded up to 64 cards. So that can only lead me to the conclusion that this deck is much better when we board up to 64 cards. Please be a worm, please be a worm, please be a worm, please be a worm. Yeah. Yeah. Pick it up. Pick it up. This is why I play one Vapor Snag Chip for the Gitches. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Got him! I think there should be more Vapor Snags in this deck, and, and not just because of that game. I think there should be more Vapor Snags in this deck. I think Vapor Snag is excellent in this deck. This hand is so good. I can't mulligan the ley line, right? I have like pressure plus snag. I can't mulligan this hand to ley line, I don't think. Snag into wheel is really good, yep. Dented to Blood Moon. I fetch Island and then I can cast this. Yeah, yeah we we boarded up to 64. <laughs> Apologies. And like I'm gonna play Charmer Goy Fun too here. So I don't actually know who Cube April is on Twitter, but she's obviously someone named April, but she's been tweeting screenshots of like this boomerang wipe away journey to nowhere dot deck that looks really funny. This is actually an excellent draw here because it means that I get to play Pyromancer while holding Vapor Snag up this turn. <laughs> Needs more Civic Charm. Oh jeez, are we, are we gonna win another one, Chip? I think I'm gonna fire out Faithless Looting here. <laughs> so I don't really wanna show him that I have that. But... You think it's just what I'm discarding? <laughs> it also makes my goif pretty big, which is sweet. Um, there actually isn't an instant in the bin yet, right? So I think I'm gonna bolt upstairs here. I think I'm just gonna send this bolt upstairs. It makes my goif bigger. I need to still hold vapor snag up. Then they're actually gonna be dead next turn, right? The Tarkus command is lethal. But opponent, what if we, what if we didn't hit me with the gristle brand? What if, what if we did this instead? Right. 
We'll see how many cards they get to draw here. Yeah, I'm feeling, who's feeling a 3-2 chat? Who's feeling an 0-2 in to run back into the 3 twos? Thank you everyone for hanging out here today. My name is Jeff Hoagland. If you're enjoying what you see, uh, please consider subscribing on Twitch. I do this full time here. We stream every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday afternoons at a minimum. You can also follow for notifications when I go live. I do random weekends and mornings and stuff like that too. If you're really enjoying what you see, you can also support my sponsors. MTGOTraders.com will love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. And if you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout with them, you'll save 8% on your singles orders there. CoolStuffInc.com buy and sells a lot of cool stuff, including TCG singles. Using promo code JEP5, you can save 5% on Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards with them. Inkgaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. Using code JEP12, you can save 12% on custom playmats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And finally, this stream is made possible by Anironix and viewers like you. Anironix likes to remind you to hit that follow button if you're enjoying what you see. And anyway, we're waiting for our fifth match and the last match in this league with this deck. After uh, this league, we're going to play some uh, Teamer Escape Shift with a couple copies of Jason in it. I think three copies of Jason in it. And we'll see where the rest of the night takes us after that. So, one of the things that has been impressive about this deck, I think the Wheels of Fate are probably too cute, but the thing I've taken away from this deck is that, as foretold, really seems sweet. Like, the amount of tempo we've been able to generate off of As Foretold has been very, very reasonable. And I'm kind of interested in exploring, like, other team or blood braid shells with Ancestral Visions and As Foretold in them. Like, that seems like, like, the Visions, As Foretold, Blood Braid, like, starting with those cards in a team or shell seems really appealing and something I would want to work on. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Hopefully they're playing something fair. Hopefully they're playing something fair. Young Pyromancer Command has also been good. That's true. You're not. You're not wrong. It's coming up, Jake. It's just Brad Delson Celtic off. Oh no! Whoa. Oh no! Happy. Please be some random Happy. brew and not burn. Please be some random brew and not burn. Please be some random brew and not burn. Yes! Yes, it's a brew! Watch them like chalice me here. It's gonna be. Nope, that's, that's fine. That one, that one resolves. All right, I think we have a chance against ship bears. I think we have a chance against ship bears. Um, am I supposed to? I'm just supposed to bolt this, right? Especially since I drew another bolt here. Just like not get got by ghost quarter. Like I could go forest pyromancer, but then like we're just super behind if they ghost quarter us. It does appear to be red white poopers. Well, now I'm going to bolt this on my turn so that way I can get a token off the Pyromancer, right? Like, that's just what I want to do. I'm going to go forest, bolt this. Yeah. Sweet. Our hand's pretty good, right? Like, we're going to get to, if they don't have a third Leonin Arbiter, we get to Blood Braid Elf this turn. Hmm, that's a little unfortunate. They get to kill my young Pyromancer, but I get to Blood Braid next turn, and then we're going to get to Ancestral Vision in two turns. <laughs> so, Pyro's dead. This thing does have First Strike, which is a little annoying. Yeah, I agree, Burgle. 
I agree. Having just like a bunch of reasonable, reasonable castable cards that are like kind of powerful is great. Yeah, first strike lines up very well against what we're doing. Well, the squad's gonna get bigger because next turn we're gonna put AV into the bin. Blade Splicer, sure. God, how good is it going to be if they double block the Charmagoyf with Golem plus when we get to get him with the Darkest Command? Upkeep path. Yep. No, I didn't want to turn because the turn can get a basic later potentially. And like we already killed two Leonin Arbiters, so like playing around a third doesn't seem particularly, particularly likely. Have a second forest, I do. I think I'm just passing here. We're flooding a little bit, but wheels are live draws and AVs are live draws with the ads foretold, which is nice. Hopefully they attack this dire fleet daredevil in. Oh, just that. It's a pretty good conservative attack on their part. Gonna go no blocks here. So I think end of turn I'm gonna like three them plus put Raging Ravine into play. Hey, Shamgar. Thanks for the Twitch Prime support, bud. Hope you had a good stream earlier. I appreciate that. Sending your fun money this way this month. I think modern bases do the increase. I don't think there's that many Field of Rune. I think like playing slightly more is fine, but I don't think you need that many. Put a land. God, I hate this interface is so bad. Get three damage, put a land from my hand into play. All right, I think I've chosen correctly. I did, yay. Something that costs zero, please. Something that costs zero, please. This lets us block with the Raging Ravine this next turn. So like I can animate Raging Ravine, block, and then give it, make it a 4-4. So it gets to eat the, goblet, the golem. We're in a little bit of trouble if we don't find some action though. Looking for like goifs or visions or wheels, things to let us, things to let us start doing stuff. Draw some cards. Wheel like gives them new cards too, but like we definitely have more resources to play our cards if we draw a wheel. So if we if we draw a wheel, we're definitely playing it. Faithless looting is also an okay draw here. Let's just start to kind of cycle through our deck a little bit. In fact, I'm gonna hold the scolding turn, I think, in case we draw a wheel or a faithless looting. There's a the Charma Goofy. Right? Love to start off with that. And now I'm actually going to play this land out. And the reason for the change is um, by tapping two mana for Tarmogoyf there, in case they path my Tarmogoyf, I want to be able to animate Raging Ravine and play the Atarkus command when I block. So this way, if their last card is a second path, we still get to eat a Golem with Raging Ravine plus Atarkus command. And if they don't have another path or a way to like take this Tarmogoyf out of the way, we're going to be in a pretty good spot here. Just like board stalled and we have more life top decks than they do. This like makes Faithless Looting slightly worse draws, but I think that's fine. They have like a Flicker Wisp here. They could like remove Tarmogoyf for a turn, but like... But that's the... This is 10 out of 10 Acroma, right? This is 10 out of 10 Acroma. Please attack me with all your first strike, guys. Just get destroyed by the Satarkas command. That's actually really scary, right? I need a bolt now. Are you playing Reanimator Iron?
All right, that's great. That was one of our powerful top decks, a little bit better than theirs on average. That's still really scary. Um, so I'm just gonna do... Oh, actually, this gives Tarmogoyf's reach, right? Which is really funny. And I'm gonna hold this land now because if we draw Faithless Looting, I want bad cards in my hand to discard. <laughs> yeah, if they have Flicker or Resto, they get to put that into play. Why, why, why does this card have so much text on it? Why, why does this card have so much text on it? The morph card is likely the Retichroma. Likely the Retichroma. All right, there's the flicker whiff, so we're gonna find out. No, it's, it's almost certainly a chroma. I would put money on it being a chroma. Yeah, chroma, angel of fury, does not have first strike. Protection white and blue, yeah. So the, the reach on a Tarkus command is gonna be real good here. Rewarded for holding the land. This is a little scary because I haven't drawn a wheel yet. I don't really want a wheel here. Let's take another goif though. Go. Hey, Iron, with the big $12 donation. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't have my... Oh, my stream loads up. I'm a big dumb stupid. It's the first donation of the day. Thank you. Get logged into my stream labs here. Read the message. And Judge Advocate with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Thank you very much to both of you. I did well with Reanimator. Your turn. Hey, Rigeld2 with the brand new Twitch Prime support. Jacob. Jacob, inside voice, buddy. Inside voice. I really appreciate that, folks. Subscribers are the reason I'm able to do what I do as often as I do. We've got over a thousand people in chat. Just ringing out, folks. Sex has been really sweet. Oh, God. This again. Three damage to opponent and creatures you control get 1-1 one, one and gain reach. That one. I just got an LOL in chat from the opponent. <laughs> oh, here's my blockers. All right, so... I think I just want to stack like this because this means if they have two paths, the Acroma still dies, right? Yeah. If they have two paths, it still dies. Like a path goif, path goif, and then it takes six or it takes eight. Flying, Trample, Protection White, Protection Blue, can't be countered. This does let them kill two Blood Braids, but I think I'm okay with that, if they want to kill two Blood Braids instead of a Goyf. Trying to blue a blue-black, Eldrazi Processor deck. Wait, I'm confused. In Strangle Root, guys, you're trying to put a double green spell into a blue-black colorless deck? That seems, seems bad. I think I, I, you're, you're probably right. We're probably supposed to put an elemental over a blood raid, but I think they're killing a Tarmogoyf regardless. I kind of want to incentivize to kill the blood raids because, like, I think I'd rather have an extra Tarmogoyf than two blood raids in play, right? I think I'd rather have. Yeah, and they're choosing to kill. Oh, they have Resto, so it doesn't matter. So they're going to Resto, Flicker their Flicker Wisp, and then Flicker Wisp is going to Flicker the Acroma. Then we're gonna die next turn. That's really sad. Mm -hmm. I had two cards and one was Resto. We're through two Atarka's commands. We have three looks to find stuff next turn. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Wait, what? Deal? Deal? This seems really good for us, right? This is this is super scary. What? D sure? Oh, it's pro white. Yeah, you're right. You're right. They can't do that because it's protection from white. Thank you. So opponent didn't make a mistake there. I just wasn't thinking that it was pro white, so it couldn't be targeted. You're right, Chet. You're right. So they get to save their flicker wish plus make another golem here. All right. Looking for a wheel or an ancestral vision next turn, Chet. We've got three looks with this faithful zooting in our bin. So, wait. Oh, geez. Does this let them ancestral vision? No, wait, that doesn't do anything, right? They have to pay mana. And this doesn't ignore timing restrictions. This doesn't do anything. Why wouldn't you? Oh, they're just taking my faithless looting away from me. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's a good play. It's a good play. Let's be lucky and just hit a, hit a wheel. Rats. Put him played that really well. Play into their outs. And like, they've drawn four lands and 14 cards. And like, we've drawn a lot of lands, but we've also seen a lot more of our deck, right? Like, we have we have 30 cards out of our deck, so we're gonna see more lands and 30 cards. Yeah, we're definitely in trouble. We are definitely in trouble. I can't really go on the offensive because I just like die on the backswing, right? Plus like, these are 3-3, three, three. they have like eight power of first strike here. If I smash with the goifs, they get to eat a goif and then kill me on the backswing, so... I guess I'm just passing. Oh, I'm probably supposed to... I should have held that ravine in case we drew another Faithless Looting. It was a mistake to play the play the ravine. I was thinking I just want this land in play, in play untapped, but I definitely... Definitely should have, should have held that in case I hit a Faithless Looting here. Correct, we are in a very bad spot. The Restoration Angel was very bad for us, even if it didn't let them save the Akroma. And they made a good line and like took away two of our outs there. So, I'm sure we're going to draw Faithless Looting and punish me for having punted this, but... If we're not, if we're really lucky, we'll draw a wheel, though. Alright, that's a good start. That's pretty good. So, wish I would have held the land. Wish I would have held the land, but uh, we're not dead at least. We have two Faithless Lootings in our bin now, so like we get to dig a lot next turn if we don't die here. This deck generated some sweet games of magic. Had some genuinely sweet games of magic today. 24 cards left in our deck. Real questions. Do we have enough ways to kill our opponent left in our deck? I guess these Tarmogoyfs will punch through eventually. What's our record? We are two and two prototype succession. Two and two, and this is game one of this match. Which if we have a bunch of games this long, we could potentially time our opponent out here. Which would be sweet. How are we alive? Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. Staying alive. Yeah, a Charker's Command Pyromancer has been very impressive today. That's definitely one of my takeaways from today is how good a Charker's Command has been with young Pyromancer. Are they just going to not attack for lethal here? Can anyone think of any reason to not attack for lethal here? Do 
Turn off auto yields. That's that's the only reason, right? The only reason to not attack for lethal is because they're watching the stream. That's so fucking rude. I didn't flash back lootings. Okay. That's okay, good. Let's go. Ooh. Hmm. Huh. Ooh, beating Asteroids will make these five sixes. That's pretty good. I think I'm just supposed to pass here. Have a ban. Have a ban. I literally, literally asked the question, and then we talked about the possibilities. Literally asked the question, then we talked about the possibilities. All right. Um, I think I'm just smashing with these Tarma Voice. Right? Do I want to fire up Raging Ravine too? Probably not. Probably not. No, I banned them. You can fuck right off. Yeah, I guess we could just wait. Do I want to wait? I could fire up both ravines next turn, plus... <sighs> yeah, I'm just gonna pass here. We could fire up both ravines next turn. Actually, I should have counted. Damn it, I, I depended on Twitch chat and they're wrong. I can't fire up both ravines next turn. Uh, uh. Why did I listen to Twitch chat? Gave them a chance to draw ghost quarters. You're not wrong, prototype. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Oh God, what sweet hell is this? Um, deals three damage. Creatures you control get one one. Uh. Qualed, please do, do not use the word retarded in a derogatory way again in my chat. This is your first and only warning. Please and thank you. The menu is fine. Lee Sharp said so on Twitter, right? Hey, Iron, with the $12 donation again. Thank you very much. Jam my company deck too. Thank you very much. All right, so am I smashing next turn? We could double activate on a single ravine. That's fair. Bonus down to 12 and a half minutes. I'm up four minutes on clock. This match could very realistically come down to clock, so something to be conscious of. Well, I mean, they have to get through the Atarka's commands, right? Like, if they expect Atarka's command, they need to get through it eventually. I'd really like to draw a bolt here, so if they stack block a Tarmogoy, if I can kill them. To see if the menu would lag them out. Yeah, Atarka's Command plus Young Pyromancer has been really good. Has been really, really good. The Golems are a first strike, which is why I'm hoping to draw a Lightning Bolt here, so that way we can bolt through a Golem if they stack block a Termagoyf. 
We have a we have a faithful doing the flashback too as well. We are way up on clock now. You're not wrong. Can we cash our sweet sweet league with Memer Memer mid range? The decklist button has been there for literally months. Literally months. Maybe their like cat knocked their keyboard off their desk or like their child needed a diaper change. You know, I can understand random breaks. And I really don't mind random breaks when like we're potentially timing them out. And another 12 from Iron. My paper legacy deck. Sounds good. I'll get all those added after after the stream today. Yeah, this deck's been a lot of fun. I like I like drawing a lot of cards. We started off kind of medium, but we're closing out reasonably. Am I dead in the backswing? Well, I think I'm just gonna attack with the Tarmogoyfs, Tom. I think I'm just gonna attack with the Tarmogoyfs and like leave my Pyromancer and Elementals back. So when I meant when I meant Alpha Strike, I actually didn't mean. Shh, your mom is home. Shh, yes. God bless mother. Opponent just lost connection to the game. Opponent lost connection to the game. All right. Sorry for the delay. Hope everyone's having a good Tuesday afternoon. I do appreciate everyone hanging out here. The, the sideboard. This is, so, this is a brew. This is how I think your brew sideboard should start in modern if you're really not sure what you want your deck to do. You should try a bunch of aces like this and then try and get a feel for which of these aces are important and necessary. Do you have another deck queued up after this league? Yep, I think we're playing Teamer, Teamer Scape Shift after this. We're playing Teamer Scape Shift after this. We actually beat Jund earlier. We just boarded up to 64 cards because I didn't have anything I wanted to cut against Jund. So we just like boarded in for a line of Sanctities and ran with it. Four easy plans, yep. And while like an optimal sideboard almost certainly doesn't have just those cards like that, I think it's a good place to start with that. This is game one. So even if our opponent comes back, they're probably gonna time out of the match. Cause this is game one and they have nine minutes. Yeah. I'm I submit a deck if I wanted to. If you wanna learn about how donation deck lists work, you could check out this link here. Talks about uh, what it costs to submit a deck and how to go about doing that. <laughs> You should be aware and peek at the donation queue there that if you're sending in a deck with just the base $12 donation, you are gonna be waiting a little bit. You can kind of get a picture for what decks are in the queue and how long they've been waiting. If you send a little bit of extra donation with the deck, it gets bumped up further in the queue to get played faster. Also, like, I, I play decks that I think are amusing sooner too. So like cheesy combo decks and sweet green creature decks tend to get played faster than the others. What did I just walk into? Something beautiful, Immortal Echoes, is the answer. Something beautiful. Okay, opponents reconnected. Kinda, maybe. Kinda, maybe. Um, I didn't see it, Dan, but basically anything that's posted a 5-0 will probably play here, unless I think it sounds really, really bad. Ooh, that's just exactly what I wanted to draw, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just smash with these Tarmogoyfs. Uh, we o 3 the league with green white life gain. We o 3 o 3 that one. So if they triple block with first strikers on this Tarmogoyf, we're going to bolt one of them and eat the other two, so that's good for us. No, I don't think so. I think I want to leave the ravine back on defense so I have a little bit more profitable blockers. So like my ravine can animate and then eat the restoration angel without losing anything on the backswing, which is nice. Oh, 
god, this is so terrible. Creatures you control get 1-1, one, one, deal 3. And I think I want to just stack block this to guarantee it getting dead. This lets them kill an elemental token, but in the event they have a path, I don't really want them to be able to keep their Restoration Angel. So I'm willing to lose an elemental here for guaranteeing getting this Resto off the table. Uh, there are no Planeswalkers in our deck. You can find the deck list on the screen using the uh, Stream Decker button. All right. Um, this is a click submit matchup, right? None of our none of our sideboard hosers here sound particularly interesting. I don't really want Ancient Grudge against Aeth they have Aether Vial and Golems, but I don't think that makes Ancient Grudge good enough. I think I want all of the other cards that I have. In I think I want all the cards I have access to right now. Uh, you'll want to you'll want to DM me decklists because I don't I don't check uh, decklist links while I'm streaming. There's just too much going on. What a sideboard look. Look, we've got some we've got some game plans here, you could say. We've got we've got some game plans. Yeah, the Vapor Snag's good against uh, just pulling blockers out of the way as well as getting rid of golem tokens. Sixty-one with a grudge. I mean, we empty our hand too, so the idea behind Wheel isn't that we're getting cards out of their hand. The idea behind Wheel is that with As Foretold, we're going to be able to leverage a mana advantage by playing out the cards we draw faster and more efficiently than our opponent does. An opponent, like, has seven minutes to win two games here, so hopefully they just can't do that and we cash this league with Meme or Midrange. Seems great, right? It's like a couple bolts and stay alive. Draw some, draw some threats and stuff. What up? What a poop. What a pooper. Big ol' pooper. Selfless spirit. Right, I'm just, I'm just gonna bolt that one now. Might as well. How do we beat Tarmogoyf? Yeah, that's how we beat that card right there. Um, they're probably a Blood Moon deck, so I'm just gonna fetch an island here. It plays around uh, Leonin Arbiter as well a little bit. Also puts a land in the bin for my Tarmogoofy. Smoogler's Copter. Yeah, it's po I, it's possible that was a mistake, not playing that on one. And then this Termagoyf isn't blocking a Smuggler's Copter, so I should just attack. Yeah, Tarker's Command is very good. Honestly, this deck this deck makes me want to explore two different directions. It makes me want to explore a Tarker's Command plus Young Pyromancer decks, and it makes me want to explore... Wow, that's good. Um, it makes me want to explore, um, as foretold, Bloodbraid Elf Ancestral Vision decks. Uh, I don't know. I think I want to just bolt this. I think I want to just bolt this. If they want to use their Forge Tender to protect their thing, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's that's expected. I'm gonna sit down. I've been standing for the entirety of the stream, which is over three hours. Oh. Enjoy the ride, Twitch chat. Been the land there. Smuggler Copter seems really sweet in their deck. Uh, I'm gonna play this out. Tap this, tap this. Cast Young Pyromancer. Uh, I'm just gonna pass back. Sure. It's annoying.
In the market for a new desk, do you have a link to the desk that I have? Um, it's, uh, what's the, what's the place called? Um, Uplift Desks is what it's called. Uplift Desk. Really, 10 out of 10 would recommend, like, quality product, like it a lot. Easily one of my best purchases of last year. But you're gonna, you're giving us a lot of business in the air here. Truly a second forest. We have a second forest. There's, li there's literally a deck list on your screen, chat. Come on now. Come on. Calm your calm your tits and look at the look at the look at the deck list on your screen before before you like rain judgment down landfall two years where's the time gone big nuki thank you for the continued support it's been a while welcome 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 back Mm. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, now I just want to burn this vapor snag and this Atarkus command right away, right? Do I work out? I go to the gym a couple times a week. Like, nothing super serious, but... All right, I think I'm just going to snag. I'm going to snag Selfless Spirit here, actually. You type exclamation point deck in chat to get the deck list in mobile. We might just die here. I don't know. This is loose. This is loose, but I kind of just want to just want to do my stuff. Oh, you're right. The wheel gets rid of the card, huh? Maybe I should have thrown Pia back into their hand with that logic. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that at all. Huh. I mean, they don't know we only have one island in our deck, right? I think I'm just gonna float mana here and just not search. I think I'm gonna float mana and not search here. I think there's a good chance we're dead. I think Ashiok's very bad in modern. Ashiok's one of those cards like blow Ashiok's one of those things like blowing up land for like people in Twitch chat just love the card Ashiok for some reason, but it's just not very good. The fact that it's a planeswalker that needs at least two turns to generate card advantage and then doesn't even guarantee it after that makes it pretty mediocre. So make my opponent attack me for lethal since they're in the process of timing out. I mean, I think we were dead regardless of how we slice that. So it took them three minutes and 40 seconds to win that game. So hopefully this next game takes them that long and they just, they, they bite it. I don't think I want these grudges. These wheels have just been mediocre in general, though, is the problem. So they have Vile, they have Blade Splicer, they have Pia. I kind of just want to trade two for two here. Yeah, I think I just want to swap two, two for two. 
Oh, they have Copter 2. Yeah, Grudge seems great. They have Copter 2. Gotcha, I just want all three of them. Smuggler's Copter. The time rifts remind Yavamaya of enemies of its past and provide fresh fuel for the fires. If there's anything a werewolf hates, it's a color, especially Avacyn's color. Uh, we died to flying creatures. Mentor, PZ, and Command. That's interesting. The Tribal Zoo deck seems really sweet. That's uh, Tribal Flames and Blood, Blood, Blood Braid Elf sound fantastic. Yeah, I could see that. Just like German Ass Foretold or Another Wheel. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to suspend this on one. Am I suspending this on one? I'm probably not, right? I have this as foretold in my hand. Oh, I should have let on this, right? Because if I draw another fetch line and they have Leon and Arbiter, I just get fucked. I don't think I want to wheel on three, like with Bloodbraid Elf in my hand. I don't think I do. They have three minutes. They do, they definitely have enough time to win the game. They definitely have enough time to win the game. Sweet. I'm just going to go ahead and get this as foretold to go. Oh! Oh! Fuck! God! Oh! Oh, God! <sighs> yep. That's really frustrating. That's really frustrating. God, and now they have a Thalion play. That's so frustrating. I don't know why there's not a, a confirmed prompt for that. Do you want to suspend your card? We're going to lose this pile of shit because of that misclick. I'm going to lose this match because of that misclick.
And I, like, didn't suspend this on one, so it's, like, gonna happen way too slowly now. Like Blood Braid Elf can't even. <laughs> Need like a lightning bolt. <sighs> that doesn't even really do anything, right? Doesn't even really accomplish anything. Yeah, I think I would have won this if we would have had As Foretold ticking up. Like, this Dahlia just wouldn't have mattered this game if the As Foretold was ticking up. Whoa, no attack is huge. That's... Yep. All right. Did we seriously just not draw a land? That's not how math works, Vico. Both Thalia Grudge Golem is not how math works. We need to draw a land for that to work. Yeah, I think the land's too late. I think the land's too late. They have plenty of time. They have plenty of time. Yeah, I guess I can get a Goy Fury. Right? That's pretty good. All right.
Did I do this? Is this what I'm supposed to do? Takes the Thalia off the table. I could also do this and keep the Pyromancer back. I think I like double blocking. Yeah, double blocking also has timeout value. Well, I think we're gonna get him on the clock now. Man, don't forget chat, with Bloodbraid Elf, anything is possible. With Bloodbraid Elf, anything is possible. Don't bolt me, bro. All right, sorry for my expletive in there. <laughs> we got motoed on turn three because I'm an idiot. Opponent uh, got timed out because they played slowly. Memer wheel three, two. Um, hold on one second, we're gonna... All right, so my takeaways from this deck are, are three things. Three, three takeaways from this deck. What a game, thanks to the bits, Dizzy Red Shoes. So my, my, my three takeaways are one, this deck as built is probably not very good. Takeaway number two. Takeaway number two is this shell, these, these 12 cards felt really powerful. Really powerful. This felt, this felt fantastic. And I think um, I would want to explore more teamer mid-range shells with this package. Uh, point number three from this deck. Young Pyromancer plus Atarka's Command was just quite excellent on more than one occasion. It was it was quite excellent on more than one occasion. So like these, these two cards together is another direction I would like to explore. And honestly, Bloodbraid Elf is probably still good in with these two, right? But like these two cards specifically played really well together and got us out of a lot of a lot of tight spaces and like did a lot of damage that we wouldn't have that we wouldn't have gotten out of with with other things so um and that's why it's fun to play decks like this right like new ideas like i don't think this deck as built is very good but i think like i got to i got to draw some takeaways and some conclusions from playing this deck that made me think okay there's other things that aren't exactly this that i want to work on but i am interested in in trying out in the future The sideboard was flawless. Yep, right. <laughs> All right, um, we're not done for the evening. We're done with this deck, but we're not done for the evening. We have another teamer deck up next here, so we're going to be playing uh, teamer scape